at a dealing in grain. He bought a fine mansion quite near the park lane. Thought I, oh, now I'll show him I'm no parvenu. I'll show him my blood is the bluest of blue. So, being quite near to Hyde Park, well, of course, I did what the tops do. I got on a horse. The fellas admired me as their manner showed until my horse shied and shied me in the road. But I never forget I'm a lady, and there as I lay down the ground, a handsome young man with green socks and blue eyes came over towards me and helped me to rise. He said, hey, what loss? I said, what's your loss? Well, oh, tell me, my dear little lady. I said, I'm afraid I've sprained my hong kong pong. <laughs> but I got up and smiled like a lady. <laughs> One of the old sort he was. Military, I suppose. He came over towards me. He said, I'm sorry. Allow me, my dear little lady. I, I was given a quid just to rub the place once, but I didn't because I'm a lady. <laughs> we went off to Paris at Easter last year. The sights and the sounds was most awfully queer. On them tramps, Eliza's, we spent many a hour. We saw them argue and went up Awful Tower. Because when Pa heard me talk French, he knew it was safe. We table dotted one night at the Cape. I said, yes, on the menu. We want something nice. And some of that there hex three dry off the ice, you know. Because I never forget I'm a lady. And I looked at the waiter, quite cool. He mushed and me jammed all over the place. I didn't understand, but I kept a calm face. And then when he brought us some spuds on a plate, and some of them looked a bit shady, he said, pomme de terre. I said, have I wear? Because I never forget I'm a lady. I looked at the waiter. Oh, yes, I said. Just like that thing. Any more so, do you know? You've seen them more so in my day, haven't you? And then when he brought us them spuds, I'll never forget them spuds. I says, here, Hallyvo, bring two wee-wees on toast. Just to show I talk French like a lady. <laughs> oh, I, I must tell you this. We thought that some weeks by the sea we would pass. So we went down to Brighton, because Brighton's class. We stayed at a pension. Our fun we had lots. And each afternoon we had to see the Pierrots. And when in the sea of a morning I'd go, my costume, oh, late and early, you know, it was silk, all real silk, and before my swim's end, it was clinging to me like a very dear friend. But I, I never forget I'm a lady, though I am very much on. As soon as my figure started to show, they knew I was at it to scratch it, you know. The saucy remarks of them giddy young sparks were certainly what I call shady. One chap said, Where? And I said, Go on, dirty dog. And they all of them said, What a lady. <laughs> there you are. As soon as my figure I started to show, they knew I was Harris to scratch it, you know. The saucy remarks of them giddy young sparks were certainly what I call shady. Of course, some girls shows their figures most vulgarly. Ah, but 